It all begins with great light. And that's what I'm hoping to share with you, is that great light and control and mastery over light is gonna give you confidence and build your skill level and your creativity. It takes you from the basic principles and pushes you all the way through the creative process. I'm standing behind him for a reason right now. I wanna show you that the lining up of your softbox and your person where it should be. All right, this light is straight up and down this direction. I am not tipping this light, okay? What, look what happens when I tip this light. There are, you know, a hundred different places you can put this light. And just because you put light on your subject doesn't make it right. And it doesn't give it dimensionality, and it doesn't necessarily flatter the person. As a result of just blasting her with light and throwing all this light on her, there, the dimensionality is gone. Let's next talk about whether we think people want to look heavier, fatter, or thinner. Hmm, you? Thinner. Thank you very much. Most of us would say that, all right? So, how do we accomplish that through lighting? If I want to do more of a profile shot of him, I'm going to now move the light, clear back to his shoulder, is where the front edge of the light is, is at his shoulder. Only his face is going to turn to the light, just a little bit more, exactly. Now, what happens when I move this light farther away? Watch for yourself and see, but the quality of the light is gonna completely change. Look at the shadow, look at how much deeper the shadow is, and look at how much sharper. Look at, you can even see a triangle happening right here that we couldn't see before. There's a hard edge here, a harder edge here, and more light here, and more specularity happening through there. Remember, we're sculpting light. We're not just lighting the subject and putting flat light on them put a flat light on them, we actually want to sculpt and mold and, and, and add structure and strength to the image. So what I want to do is have her be tall. That's my instructions to them, exactly be tall. I want you to bring your elbow back just a little bit. Perfect. I want to turn your body just a tiny bit to the camera, tip your head and your chin down. That's the basic instructions. In a guy shot, you want to keep the front shoulder low in the image. It's a lot stronger, a lot more masculine. Look what, look what how, I'm sorry to do this even to you, Daniel, but switch your shoulders, okay? And now turn your face to your shoulder, just like that. It's a little girly, okay? Sorry, I had to make you do that. We won't be girly for very long. See how the line breaks the wrist right in here, hands, Beautiful hand pose. Same thing here, just a little break on the wrist, just like that, okay? Hands, arms, all that stuff is so important. We drop this down so I get a little bit of an angle right in here. But here I can show off the ring, show off the hand, beautiful jewelry, great connection again. Boom, there's your next variation of the shot. But those poses right there are gonna sell every single time um, because that's some beautiful, classic, gorgeous images that still have great expression, great hand posing, great connections between the two of them. And honestly, there is a point during a session where people are not people to me, okay? They really are just arms and bodies and heads and lines and whatever. And then I'm gonna go in for the expression and the emotion and all that kind of stuff. It's really important, you know, not to be worried about making an idiot out of yourself when you're photographing people. Because um, if you are, you're gonna hold back from creating some really crazy, beautiful images. So um, let it evolve, let it happen, make some mistakes. It's okay, have fun with it. Arms just like this, good. And I have them flex their biceps, boom, chin down, boom, eyes to camera. That's how you get dates, okay? Boom. <laughs> so here's gonna be our composition of what? Foreground, child, background. So we have something, some depth to work with to give us some painterly feel to it and also giving us some contrast to it. The light is coming from behind her to build more of a wraparound look is what we're doing. So very simple, very beautiful. Your eyes will be closed most of the time. You're in a sleeping beauty pose, and um, we'll just play with that concept. Now we have our mom and baby all ready to go. Mom's draped in beautiful fabric. Baby's matching in just a little bit of fabric to keep baby from peeing on mother. That'd be awesome. What do you think of that? It's helped me become more creative and build a different, more intimate, unique experience for our clients. So you've either been doing this for a few days, or you've been doing this for a long time, I think you're gonna find something in here that's gonna help you build your own creativity and your own style and your own confidence in what you're doing in your photography.